U48 is a session aware firewall. When it receives a packet from a client towards any destination, it looks in the routing table, it does a route lookup, and saves the routing information in the session table. When it receives the second packet, the one that came from the destination towards the client, it saves the route lookup, it does another route lookup, it saves it into the session table. Now, your 48 actually relies on three routing databases to forward the packets. The first one is the policy-based route. The second one is the routing cache. And the third one is the FIB, the forwarding information base. So let's take a look and see what is in each database. <music> When you check your routing table using the get router info routing table all, you see the connected routes, you see the static routes, you see dynamic routes such as OSPF or RIP, and you see just about any active that is best routes that there are on your 40 gig. If you use the same command with the database, you see every route that there is in the routing table, including routes that are not active. Now, one thing that you're not seeing on the uh, routing table is the policy-based route. If you move to network policy routes, you can actually create routes that are much more granular in terms of the protocol that is being used, the source address that is being used, and so on. Now, those routes can only be seen using the Diag firewall pROute list. Here we can see that I actually have two routes. One is towards Gmail, and the second one is towards Microsoft Office 365. The policy-based routes are actually the first place that your 40 gig checks to see if there's a route towards the destination that is in the policy-based route. If it doesn't find a match, the second place that it goes to is the routing cache. The routing cache is actually a mechanism that deals with performance you want to route as fast as possible and your 40 gate actually has a dedicated memory to cache entries such as routing cache how can you see the routing cache using that command dag ip rt cache and again list here you can see all the latest routes that are saved on the cache itself. It doesn't save all the routes that are in the routing table, only the last entries that are frequently used. Now, the third place that your 40 gate checks, if it doesn't actually find anything in the routing cache or in the policy-based route, is the FIB. The FIB, the forwarding information base, holds the active routes, not every route, but only the active routes. It gets them from the routing table. It also holds routes that are routes that are dedicated to SSL VPN or IPsec. How do you get to see the FIB? Well, you use the get router info kernel. And that's the FIB. That's the third database that your 48 checks before it sends the packet towards its destination. 